There are so many flights to and from and also through Dubai. According to the Dubai Airport, 27,136 flights pass through Dubai Airport in June 2022 alone. I've been to Dubai Airport so many times just for transit but never visited the city. But this time, baby, I had a chance to see the city. If you are flying with the Emirates and have a long waiting time, the airline provides a free accommodation and one meal. To be eligible, your transit time has to be more than 10 hours and up to 24 hours. It applies to all cabin classes, including economy. This service is called the Dubai Connect and you can find more information on the Emirates Airlines website. At the airport, they give you a SIM card with internet data on it. They kind of secretly slip it in between your passport before you know it at the checkpoint. It was very useful and the data they provide is enough for your stopover. From things like this and the free accommodation, you can feel that Dubai is trying to make the stopover experience convenient for you. The accommodation. I was assigned to the Coptorn Hotel Dubai. This is for the economy class. For business class, you get to go to a fancier hotel near the city center. The Coptorn Hotel that I was staying at is very close to the airport. It's four kilometers away, about eight minutes by bus. A practical question to be mindful of the culture of the country you're visiting. Do I need to cover my hair or body in the city? The answer is no. Of course, there are women covering their hair and body, but they don't require experts to wear Islamic clothing. This is what my schedule looked like during my stopover in Dubai. We hired a driver in a car to go around the city. If you want to use your time to see more things, there are one day or half day tour packages offered at the hotel that you can check out. You might have seen photos of the archipelago, which looks like a palm tree within a circle from the air. Yes. This is the shape of dead tree. Ah, yeah. So this is the stem. This, these are the leaf. And one leaf, here are more than 500 villa. From one side villa, other side villa, in the middle there is a road. So each villa have own beach. And all these here is building. So each building have own beach. You can visit these artificial islands through a subsea tunnel from the coast to the bottom of the tree trunk. I learned that this is not the only artificial island in Dubai. It's part of a Palm Island project and Palm Jumeirah is one of the three islands planned, but the only one completed and open. If you search on Google map, you will see Palm Jumeirah and just down along the coast, so there's another one, which is under construction slash on hold. The third one was planned along the coast near the airport, but didn't materialize due to the economic uncertainty. What you see here is the Atlantis, a luxury hotel located in the middle of the Crescent. It seems like Dubai Mall is a must. At first I was like, why the heck are we visiting a mall when we have only a few hours to visit the city? Like, you can go shopping everywhere. But well, there are a few reasons why you want to visit the Dubai Mall. A, you can see all people of Dubai out here. Seriously. No, I'm just kidding. But it seems like all people are hiding from the heat during the day, so no people in the street. And you get to the mall and boom, people just hang out here. And B, view of Burj Khalifa from the lake. You can see the famous Burj Khalifa, 828 meter high, the tallest building in the world. You can dine in a restaurant lounge at the top of the tower. It must cost you a fortune though, but I didn't have a chance, but maybe next time. But don't worry, because there is a very affordable and actually free way of enjoying the tower from the Dubai Lake, accessible from the mall. And see, the mall itself is quite nice. There's an aquarium and waterfall inside the mall. So it's worth visiting at least once. There is a dancing fountain show taking place every 30 minutes between sunset to midnight. According to their website, the fountain is the world's tallest performing fountain. Everything has to beat the world records here in Dubai. Now enjoy the show. <laughs>